Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have already been here before. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. Today we are making uh, the first update for my uh, rolling project 10 pan for the year of 2022. And um, yeah, first update, I have no items finished so far. The month of January and half of February at this point has just not been months of me wearing that much makeup. It's been only a few times of me using makeup and today is one of those few times that I'm actually using makeup. I do have the whiniest baby in the world here because he just... As soon as I put on the camera, he's just there and wanting the attention. So he's going to be here with us. And I do have my bullet journal where I keep all the items, 35 items that I have. And the random 10 that we chose from the last time, I'm just going to go through them in order. So the first one we chose random last time was number 2. It was the H&M blush stick in number 5. This was from the H&M advent calendar in... The year of 2020 and uh, it's just a blush stick so i was at uh, this line right here on the cap i'm not sure if you're able to see and i am just slightly below that line right now i have used it a few times uh, when i'm not using powders on my face i just put on this and it's really nice subtle blush but it is a lot of product in here and this will take me the whole year and then some especially if I don't keep up the use of my makeup as much as I should. Um, I am slightly below this line so not enough progress to make a new line on this one. Number three was also from H&M. Uh, the second item that is and this one is an eyeliner. It's in the silver glitter and it's also from the H&M Advent Calendar in 2020 and this was number 6, drawer number 6. So I've taken out the stopper and I am right about down there at that black line right now. I have used this one a few times. I mean there is not much opportunity for me to wear glitter on my eyes. Uh, I work a lot, way too much and the rest of the time I am too tired to be alive. So. I'm doing the best that I can, but that is a really hard one for me. The third one in line uh, was number seven. It was the Ardell Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. 3.2 grams of that one, and that is a lot of brow pomade. And this one was dried out previously. I don't know if you're able to see, but there is like the slightest, littlest glimpse of light in the middle there. There is a big hole. So there is a big dip going on in the middle and I am trying to wear down the sides of this one. It is completely dried out. It's what I have in my eyebrows today. And yeah, this one I put in some face oil to keep it alive but that just is not enough and this will take me so many more years to use up. Um, yeah. Not happy about that one. Next one in line was number 8 that I rolled out and that is the Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder. This is what this one looks like and I am slightly below the line that I made at the intro. Uh, but I just cannot get it to settle enough to make a new line. So because it's kind of, as you can see, it's higher on this side than this side. So I'm not sure where I am currently. But there is a lot of setting powder left in there and me not using any, not any, I'm using a little bit of a corrector thingy because I'm trying to use it up so I do set it with this but otherwise I don't use powders that much on my face and I don't use any liquid things on my face usually so this is really difficult to use up but I have used this one the most I think out of all of the items that I have here. Um, so I am really trying to be good and trying to use it up. The next one in line is number was <sighs> number 11 that I rolled in and that was Clinique Lipstick in the shade 06 Poppy Pop and it's just a little mini lipstick from Clinique. It is a very corally bright red shade. I've used it a few times. I was at this line right here on the cap 
previously but I am just not able to make a new line because it is more of a spring summer shade I much prefer these darker red shades now during still the winter time so this will be more used towards spring and summer so to say so and also my boyfriend really doesn't think I look good in light reddish pinkish shade he much prefers when I have the dark lip so I've just been wearing this most of the time and it is my favorite shade of all time it is red rum from Jeffree Star it's such a beautiful red shade so yeah this one will be more used in the springtime and then we have number 14 it was Kaya setting spray that extra hydration my little mini setting spray and I was at this first line at the intro and now I am down at this second line so I do have a little bit of progress and I have been trying to use it every time I do a full face of makeup it is a moisturizing setting spray it, it it's really not it's an okay mister it's not anything near Omrovitsa mister but it is an okay mister on this one um, it smells very perfumey it doesn't bother me but I can imagine if you are sensitive or if you don't like perfumey scents this is like putting on a perfume on your face so yeah it doesn't bother me but I think it could bother many people but yeah a little bit of progress on this one and then we have the Smashbox blush in Atoms Apple and it is in this palette right here and this is how far I've gotten with this one so I don't think you can even see that I am using it I mean I, I am using it every time I'm using makeup and I have been using it for the whole year of 2021 and I still have barely I mean I can see that it's used but I even barely maybe have a little bit of a dip going on there so it is a very pigmented blush it takes me a long time to use it so unfortunately still no pen I'm just I'm gonna be working on it and I am working on the highlighter while I am working on the blush as well because I do want to have this whole palette finished by the end of the year but yeah that's what I have in this project and so far not so much is happening in that pan and then we have the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Royal Armor. This is what this one looks like. It's a little mini one from the purple kit. And you can see I do have a little bit of windows here. It is a lilac-y, lavender, purpley shade with a lot of silver glitter that's very gritty on your lips and I have taken out the stopper even before this one I've used it a few times it's getting difficult to pull out any product but slowly but surely this will be out of my collection by the end of the year at some point uh, then we have the Too Faced bronzer in Snow Bunny it's in the little black book of bronzers and this is Snow Bunny so I have expanded the pan in this one a lot. I do have the side pan. I am getting rid of almost half of the brown there and I'm almost done with the white shade here. And I am working a little bit, working down these two shades up here. So I do have a little bit of progress actually in this one and I enjoy it a lot. I think it would be better for uh, the summertime but still I, I enjoy it so I'm, I'm not mad about using it and I think that if I manage to use it up before summer I am going to go over to one of the other shimmery ones because they are all shimmery here so yeah I like it and I do have a little bit of progress on that one but not finished and the last thing we have is in my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and it is the shade Primavera that I uh, it was the uh, number 34 and this is also my panda palette so be prepared for a little bit of a spoilers but yeah my shade Primavera I've used it so many times it is also one of the most used items <laughs> in this project and I still have not so much progress it's this shade right here I do feel like I might have expanded the pan a little bit um, and I'm trying to work on this corner right here, but as you can see, 
there is still a lot of product in there and this will take me a long time to use up. And that was the last item, number 10. Hopefully by the next time I will have something finished. But I mean, these are all really difficult, really huge items that I'm working on. So I, my hopes are not super high, but it is a whole year project pan. So hopefully at some point in the next update, we will have something to roll in. Because as I said, I have 35 things in here that we are were able to roll in and I just somehow happened to roll in all of the difficult ones all at once so this will take me some time and uh, I want to finish all of them so there are no usage goals on these ones and that was it for this update I hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye.